Bible Educator. Hello students, I am teacher third years Baluka and I am going to teach you chemistry form 2. The first lesson, the topic is, our topic for today is atomic structure and the periodic table. Our subtopic is structure of the atom. Welcome. Let us look at our lesson objectives for our lesson today. Our lesson objectives is as follows. By the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to define an atom. Name the two major regions in an atom. Name the subatomic particles within an atom and be able to define what is atomic number and what is mass number. Let me repeat on the lesson objectives. As I've said, by the end of the lesson today, the learner should be able to define what is an atom. The learner should be able to name the two regions in an atom. The learner should be able to name the subatomic particles within an atom and the learner should also be able to define what is atomic number and what is a mass number. Let's look at the first objectives which is now what is an atom. Let's look at the definition of an atom. An atom is defined as the smallest particle of an element that can take part in a chemical reaction. Let me try to unpack and try to um, simplify or rather deconstruct some definition which was used previously. Previously some publication uh, defined an atom as the smallest particle of an element. That definition has already been overtaken by the modern discovery. And now we are defining a, the smallest particle that can take part in a chemical reaction. Why are we not able to accept an atom as the smallest particle of an element? Because we have already been able to, 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 to discover that there are other smaller atoms within an atom. And now we can be able to prove that there are other smaller particles in an atom as are going to be shown in our next slide. Let's look at now the structure of the atom. The atom is made up of two regions. Those two regions, we have the nucleus and the electron cloud, which is the region surrounding the nucleus. The nucleus, which is the central part of an atom, contains two subatomic particles, which are the neutrons and the protons. The neutrons and the protons are, are called the nucleons. They are called the nucleons because they are found within the nucleus. Surrounding the nucleus, we have another region which is called the electron cloud. The electron cloud houses the third subatomic particle of an atom which is called the electrons. Therefore, we can conclude that there are three particles in an atom. There are three subatomic particles in an atom and those are 
the protons, the, nucle the neutrons and the electrons.